you now have twice challenged uh, Linda Sarsour to a debate. Uh, I don't think she's going to say yes, <laughs> but I would very much like to know what you would like to debate her on or what would you like to say to certain points she has made if you ever had a chance to have to have a debate with her. If Sister Linda Sarsour debates, engages in a debate with me and uh, proves me wrong, I will resign as an imam. <laughs> <laughs> I will I will make her the best offer ever. Her and her imams. If she doesn't want to debate, bring her imams who support her. Or any Muslim council that supports Linda. If they debate with me uh, for half an hour and they can prove me wrong, I will resign as an imam. And I don't want anything in return. And I will conduct the debate on my expense. I'll buy their tickets. I'll arrange the live feed. I'll do everything. If they sit and debate with the best offer, I want to debate her about her statement that the Prophet Muhammad was an environmental activist, a, a human rights activist, and all, all sorts of activists from her own books. I will bring the Bukhari and show her how the Prophet Muhammad, according to her faith, is a hypocrite, terrorist, barbaric, pedophile, psychopath, according to you. Because the Prophet Muhammad, I believe in, is someone else. I believe in a Prophet that loves Jesus and loves Moses and married uh, Aisha when she was 18 and in another report she was 20 and according to our historic evidences she was actually married before the Prophet Muhammad and she had a child so we Muslims we disagree on the age in any case I choose a Prophet Muhammad that allows me to be the man I am today a love and care for everyone she on the other hand she hasn't denounced the sacred books so if these books are sacred, come, let's open them, and I will read for her. I'll read, I'll say, look, the, we have these reports, and this is authentic. Authentic. You either denounce the book, which makes you an apostate, or you apologize for your statement, because the prophet you believe in is not who you're describing. And, and many other matters, many other matters, the pedophilia, the adult breastfeeding, many other matters. I want to speak to Sister Linda Sarsour about it because I believe she's lying to the West. And I don't like people who lie to the West. I don't like people who lie. Because in my next show, I will show you how uh, uh, Sharia law is deceiving the West. The content of Sharia law is deceiving the West. In my next live stream, I plan on coming out and I want to show uh, everyone. I'll keep you posted on that so you can come watch it it'll be on my facebook uh, live feed brother but yeah look i i don't have a problem with sister linda personally i've never spoken to her or even met her but if she wants to uh, prove her point further uh, then please and i welcome her and her all of her imams to come we'll sit together and just give me equal time to respond to each one of you i'll be more than happy to prove that what you're saying is wrong uh, it's wrong. I don't believe that uh, Linda Sarsour really believes the Prophet Muhammad was an environmental activist. In fact, her sacred books say the Prophet Muhammad was a psychopath who used to stand in the middle of the street and urinate. That's according to her. According to her books. So, be honest. Just because Brother Lalo and uh, other people can't read Arabic and the old Arabic literature and they don't know the science of Hadith, it doesn't mean you can trick them. So, Linda Sarsour is in, is, in a, is in a very bad position. It's either she hasn't studied Islam and she doesn't know about her prophet or she's imagining things and she's conveying them to the West. So either way, she has no excuse and she's more than welcome to come at any time.